Hey all and welcome to Ninja Bill Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at the China Railways LDCX Lindong FD train and train set and there you go and it's pretty cool pretty cool indeed uh, man I, I love train bots okay I love train bots so this this is cool to me this is I mean wow I mean when I first did an unboxing from Trans Aaron 38 and saw this guy, I, I, w I was just, I was floored. It still am. It's, it, it's so cool. Anyway, let's take a look at this train. We'll set that. Is that the biggest Tinder car I've ever seen or what? I mean, we'll take a look at the Tinder car first. I mean, look, nice red stripe at that symbol. I'm not sure what that symbol means. So this is the Tinder car or coal car, some people will call it. Pretty cool. There we go. Focus in. Forgive me all the, 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 the fingerprints. I'm back. I decided to try to get rid of all those fingerprints on here. Pretty cool. That likes to come undone sometimes, but still pretty cool. And these, uh, you know, here, here, here's the front. There's the top of the coal car, tinderbox. Car, whatever you want to call it, just done in gray bottom. So, got some yellow clear plastic right there, some red, some red, some white, some gray. So, pretty cool. Got some silver for those tires or for the uh, wheels, rail wheels. So, pretty cool. That's the tinder box. And give me a moment here. Here is the the engine pretty cool I dig it that's silver some red silver in that light red here for the cow pusher cattle pusher cattle prod whatever you want to call it silver going on all the way across there all the way across up there got some red in again the rail wheels lots of molded detail on here I dig it some kind of white fuzz on here. I'm not sure where that came from there. Uh, that's what I keep brushes for. It was probably dust or something. Um, there we go. There, now your camera ready. Now your camera ready. <laughs> that's a transformation joint right there. Lots of screw ports on this side, unfortunately. Uh, some molded details, window, a door. Got some silver here on that ladder. This is the back. Now these can fold up if you wish. A little bit more for the transformation. Totally up to you. Pretty much the same exact painted details on either side. There is the top. Again, got some nice molded details in there. There's the bottom. So you can see what's going on. Pretty cool, and this is the link system. So you can, if you want, you can directly via those slots right there, using these tabs right there, link the train and coal car, tinder car up directly. Takes some work though, I'm telling you. There we go. And you can link them up directly like so. So you can have that look if you want or it does come with one accessory boy oh boy this is tough Ugh. there we go sorry about that which is this accessory and what you do is via these slots on this you tab it onto here like so and then using those like that and now you have a radius that you can turn yeah it likes to pop off if you're too rough with it and there you go now one thing is you is from what i understand uh, um this is much like the other one that i showed off now it used to, uh, uh, go in there pretty stern so this is that piece and if you want you can untab these and just ha keep one there, one on that one, if you wish. So, totally up to you if you want to do it, but you can do it, and that just clicks back in. 
be a C-clip. Get rid of that. Now, one thing, uh, once again, I, I should note that as these wheels here, or the actual wheels, these are full wheels, and it can roll on some train rail uh, toy sets. So, I'm not sure which ones, but I've been told it can. Uh, um, now, get into the transformation. This thing likes to come un undone by itself, but that's how you start out. You pull this apart very slightly. Come up here, you're going to see this right here. Go ahead and take that apart. That's how it goes together. Peg, uh, tab, peg, port, slot. There you go. And once again, make sure this is like this. Go ahead and pull them apart. Boom. Boom. Just like so. Now you have those two pieces. Go ahead and sit those off to the side. Take this part. It'll become an arm. Go ahead and untab that. Swing this down on this joint here. Boom. Like so. Swing that down on this joint. And then you can see the slide. You'll slide that down. And now it's supposed to click. But mine doesn't click into place. Um, so it doesn't click. Anyway, it's going to set like this. Swing that arm around. Finally, what, what you're going to want to do is flip this around, revealing his weapon. Now, it doesn't tab. I, I do wish there was a tab right there that could tab in. Because it's kind of floppy. But there it is. Clear yellow plastic. That is his rifle. Got some four barrels on there. So that is one arm complete. So I'll go ahead and set that off to the side, and we will work on the legs. Nice painted details in there, as you can see. Go ahead and flip this around on that double joint. Flip this around, and then what you're supposed to do is push these together like so. doesn't tab or in or anything, but if you push it in like that, it's supposed to stay more in there. Because if you don't push it in, that's what happens. See that? Yeah, so you make sure you push it in there there you go and finally rotate that out rotate out the heel there you go and that is one leg done come here for the nut uh the other fold that up push that in flip this down flip that up there we go and that's another leg all done then you're going to want to come up here. You'll see the seam here. Go ahead and pull that apart. This will become an arm. So go ahead and untab this. This one it really likes to stick. Really likes to stick. Ugh, there we go. Like I said, it really likes to stick. There we go. Huh. It is a bear. Go ahead and flip, flip that down. Flip this out, slide down. Now you hear that? You heard that? Hear that? <laughs> heard that? That uh, that that's that's when it's all the way down and does what it's supposed to. This is going to be the front of the shoulder. So flip this around, flip this around, flip out his hand, flip out his hand. There we go. That is his hand, and that one is ready to go. So. Two arms, two legs so far. Now co comes the troublesome, at least for me. Go ahead and flip down these. That's where you're going to attach the arms. Go ahead and flip those down. Boom, like so. Go ahead and come in here. And there's tabs in here. This panel will swing out for these legs. Unfortunately, mine gets really stuck. Really stuck. I'll be right back. Finally got it to pop out because these pop in very solidly. So once you have these out, you're going to pull them back down on the joint here. I'll show that again on this side. Once it's free, go ahead and pull down and out. That will swing around. That will swing around. Go ahead and pop these out this way just like so. Come up here. Pull out and up. And that will swing on this joint. This will tab into that slot. Once you have it all lined up, push down. There we go. Finally, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come here and you got this faux engine front right here. Go ahead and pull that up as much as you can. Swing that down. 
And then once you fold it in on these, you will see the automorph sort of thing. There you go. And that reveals the head. Go ahead and take your leg. This is the right one. These will be on the outside, not the inside. That's how you can tell. So this is the right one. Slot, slot, just the same as it was for the train. Put that into place. Go ahead and take your other leg. Slot that in. There you go. I'm going to need to pull back more. Because this is a tall toy. Fold this up. Fold. There we go. There we go. So, once again, you fold these down to get ready for the arms. They will, you'll see inside here, if I can get the light to focus, there is a port, but there's also a notch. Which corresponds to a this right here. You will see where there is a notch that will fit into there. So, take it like this. Turn it, oh, nope, slid back. Hate it when it does that. Go ahead and once again, because there's that notch. You see it? Right there. And that's got to go into that slot. And turn it around. And there you have an arm all done. Do the same thing for the other side. With that notch, line it up. Turn around, look at, look, look at that floppy mess. Ugh. And here he is in his robot mode. And he's pretty cool. So we can get a proper stance here. And yeah, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. I do. I, I like the look of him. Um, it's just, he's cool. I mean, he's cool. So, yeah, I, I just... Wow, man, he looks so cool. He, do, he does, he just, he's cool. Let's take a look around at that head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt. That's pretty cool. Got some yellow in there, bright yellow eyes. They are, in fact, uh, clear plastic. So nice light piping going on there. Some red, some white. Very Gundam type uh, faceplate. Some red going on up there. Some red there on his neck pretty cool got some red there some white we'll zoom back and clear plastic going on there red white feet pretty cool all in all I dig it I dig it a lot getting that yellow fold right there this thing likes to pop out sometimes if you're not while in transformation. Now you will see some slots in there. And these are for if you have the other sets. Uh, you can combine parts and pieces. Limbs. Like you can swap out the limbs if you wanted. You can swap out the legs and the arms. Uh, with other sets like. Uh, you know if you have some of the other sets. You can swap out parts and pieces from the other ones. And have that going on if you wish uh, um see i'll pause this and get one ready so if you were so inclined to you could you know take this arm off if you wanted go ahead and pop that off um uh, take this one slot that onto there just like so and now he has a big blue clear plastic cannon on there and yeah so you could have that going on if you wished you have that going on, and um, if you wanted, you could take that leg off. We'll pop this one on. Easier said than done while on camera, because these are kind of big toys. There you go, and you can definitely have that look going on if you wished. Hey, why not? <laughs> Why not? And, you know, you could take, you know, his parts and put them on other robots. I mean, so there, there's like eight of these toys and they're all have interchangeable pieces. And that's really cool. Now, whether that's the look for you, I don't know, but you can do it. It's a nice play feature. 
I really appreciate it. I don't know how, how many other people would. Got some red there on the forearm. Forgot to mention that. There's the leg. Got some nice, got some gray there, some white. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, anyway, let me pause this and get him back how he regularly looks. Okay, and this is how he regularly looks. And, once again, it's just a cool looking, you know, you can have these whichever way you want. Cool looking bot. Uh, quick scale comparison. We'll set him up over here. Uh, we'll bring in, uh, let's see here. Uh, how about a Cyberverse Deluxe Starscream? Here we go. Set him more back there. So, there you go. Uh, we will, if you don't have one of those, what about... Have yourself a Shadow Panther. There you go. Uh, that's a deluxe class. Uh, let's see here. Um, how about the Studio Series Slag? Oh, yeah, mine has some weak knees, man. I'm not a big fan of that. There you go. Studio Series Slag. So, as you can see, he, he's a little bit taller. He's almost old, old leader class size. Uh, get him out of there. What about... What about Masterpiece Ratchet? There you go. This is a KO, by the way. So, pretty good scale, huh? So, Masterpiece scale. I'll get rid of him. So, all in all, man, I I really dig this set. I do. I really dig. I, I like the looks. It's got enough paint. It feels pretty solid. It's got a tiny bit of die cast in it. Um, the other one had a tiny bit of die cast. This section is all plastic. I've yet to find out where the die cast really is on this one. The other one had a bit of die cast on it. This feels all like plastics to me. So, um... Yeah, no, that actually, that's, that's, um, I don't know. That's plastic. That's plastic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so all plastics, but it's got enough paint on it. Uh, um, it looks really good. I like the scale. Let's talk about our articulation. No articulation in the head whatsoever. None. Shoulders wheel move all the way around on a nice ratchet. So you got that. Arms will move out that far. Does have rotation right there at that joint. So it's a ratcheted joint. Do have up and down on this joint here. So if you want, it acts as an elbow. So you got a double joint going on right there. Can move back too. So you can have his arm more straight. Um, actually, like to have it like that. Same thing on this side, except you have this bit here, which goes up and down. I'm going to go ahead and close that because it's floppy again. I would have liked to have a tab right there that could have gone into that slot. And I may actually make one and glue it in right there. So uh, it'll slot in and keep that secure. Because otherwise, it's not very secure. Let me move. So, yeah, it, it, it's not doing it. Anyway, get that out of the way. See, look at that. That's just that's just wrong. Anyway, I'll close that up for now. So, see, it tabs in there. I don't know why they could have, couldn't have done that. So no waste articulation to speak of. To get these things out of the way, his legs will go spread out that far. He does have a knee joint. The problem is, is this kibble gets in the way of it. So you can't move his feet forward back at all. He does have a knee joint, but because of that kibble, it's absolutely ineffective. And you see that? It's got a knee joint. It's just absolute, because of this kibble right here, it's, it's ineffective. It might as well not exist. Uh, um, so, yeah, for foot articulation, you do have a, a bit of down due to transformation. See that right there? And you have a rocker on the it, built on a joint in there. I'm not sure what kind of joint it is. It feels like a ratchet joint, but it'll go either way. So, you got that. And you have some heel down if you want it. So, yeah, I mean, it's not bad per se, but it isn't fantastic. But 
for me, it's a train bot, and he looks pretty cool. He's got some night that black and white and red colors with that yellow clear plastic. It it he looks great. I like it, and I love. I just love the fact that he's so well. I mean, look at that light piping. It just this bit up here and this bit here. That just come that light piping just just comes through so well. Look at that. Just gives it some life to those to those eyes and that you know like light up there. It's just I dig it. I dig it a lot. So anyway, this has been my look at the China Railways LDCX Ling Dong FD. Now. I'm not sure if that is the name of this guy. It's weird. I don't know, but where I get the name FD from is this booklet that they all come with. And if you look in here, there there's some of the others. I'd like to see this one. I'd like to have them all, honestly. But if you look in here, see if I can find it. There's the one that I was switching parts with him right there, the DF4B. That one looks really cool. That one's this this one, but with you know, slightly molded different. Um, there it is, FD. See that? That's the only thing I can make out. I have no idea what any of that says. No idea what any of that says. I couldn't find a translation for it either. And I, as I discussed in my review for this guy, you can't find any information on these guys online. None. It's like it, the toy doesn't exist. You go to that website, you go to that website, you go to that website, and guess what? These toys aren't even mentioned. Not even remotely mentioned. So, Lord knows, it's just like, like they deny these toys exist. I mean, it's weird. Anyway... This has been my look at the China Railways, and where I get the China Railways is right there. Let's see if we can focus the China Railway Museum, LDCX, Ling Dong, FD. And so, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Make sure to check out my uh, um, playlist. Please hit the like button, please hit the sub subscribe button. Really helps my channel grow. Leave a comment. If you have the means to do so, please, please join my Patreon. really helps my channel grow. I'm hoping to get 1,000 subs by the end of this year. So, uh, 2022, 1,000 subs in 2022. Um, beyond everything else, be good to each other.